And is it hereditary? Not necessarily, no. Mm. It just... Just happens. Happens on a whim. It just happens. Any obstruction of the inside of the appendix sets you up for appendicitis. All right. And can you have an appendicitis for years? I've heard of some people like they right. didn't even know. Can you imagine? Chronic appendicitis is, uh, is very rare, but it does happen. Uh, these patients have kind of relapsing appendicitis. They, they get a bout of appendicitis, but it doesn't progress to full blown. And then the obstruction gets relieved and the patient recovers and then will set up for another bout of, of, uh, of appendicitis. Much like the child that we treat with antibiotics, mm -hmm. if, if the parents were not to bring them back two months later, it's possible that six months later they may get another bout of appendicitis. So that patient has kind of like become a chronic appendicitis patient. So it, it's rare uh, for it to happen, but it can happen. Usually we exclude a bunch of other diagnoses that, uh, before we operate on those patients. We want to make sure they've had a full GI workup, that they've had endoscopies, both upper and lower, to make sure that there's nothing else that's actually causing the problems rather than blaming the appendix. What are some of the conditions that mimic appendicitis? Yeah, unfortunately in children there's a, a long list of, mm -hmm. of things that also mimic appendicitis. I kind of like touched on, on some of them earlier on, but you know, gastroenteritis or any kind of viral uh, GI illness is usually the most common uh, thing that will mimic it. Uh, so will, you know, constipation, something as, oh, uh, as, right. as straightforward as constipation. I didn't we think of that. We see lots of children that come in where they're just constipated. So Even gas. I just thought of that as well. Yeah. I mean, but... Yeah, if it lasts more than a day or so, I well, guess. Well, that would we, be pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> so usually, usually it's something that lasts, uh, you know, at least a day that then prompts the parents to bring the, uh, the child to the hospital. When the children come to the hospital, Jennifer, do you see the parents concerned that it could be appendicitis? Yes. Is yes. that the first thing they ask? It depends. Uh, if they've come from their pediatrician and their pediatrician has said, we think it could be appendicitis, oh. they come in very concerned.